Um, oh man, this is really long. I'll read a little bit of this. Um, cause I don't want to, I don't want to read all of it cause it, it's so expansive. A guy named Michael Gallagher, uh, reacts to Patrick S. Tomlinson saying that, um, someone had plagiarized. I don't remember who he accused of plagiarism, but I'm sure it will say so in the um, paragraphs here. So I'll just read a little bit of it. It's pretty long, and it's basically just more people who are like professionally adjacent to Tom Tomlinson, like shitting on him, which is pretty funny. So it says, uh, Patrick S. Tomlinson launches plagiarism accusation over the Phoenix novel. He probably shouldn't query to Tuscany Bay books anytime soon. Oh, so he, I think he was accusing the, um, one of the higher ups at that, um, Tuscany Bay, which is like a prior, um, publisher of his. I want to say that, that he did have a professional relationship with them at some point. I could be very wrong about that, but that's how I remember it. Um, so he's like accusing his old publisher of plagiarism, which is probably not a good look, uh, which is why this guy says he probably shouldn't query. He says on August 29th of this year, fate's favorite pinata, Patrick S. Tomlinson was forced to finally accept the conclusion we all knew was coming regarding the settlement of his legal dues stemming from an ill-fated lawsuit. We first reported on over a year ago, a year and a half ago, following months of bluster and denial. He at long last hashtag paid quasi. We will all now wait for enforcement of lawsuit payment to Google Quash Boogaloo. This must be a troll. I, I assume that Gallagher was somebody who knew Patrick, but this has to be a troll. Payment Quash Boogaloo, originally 11000 now 18000 as of time of writing. It seems that the great saga of Pat, Pat v. The Past has finally come. At least now it is uh, ignominious, ignominious? N ignominious that's a stupid word i'm not supporting the existence of that word despite spreading spending the months prior going on a media blitz that included appearance on national news outlets such as nbc news and inside admissions as well as multiple high profile podcasts the whole thing had ended not with a bang but with the sound of a check being torn from its book this is them on national news one might think that going through a sound legal shellacking might humble a person, or at the very least, that shellacking is a very pointed word because Trump, uh, uh, Patrick really hates Trump, and Trump said something was a shellacking at some point, and everyone said that was sexist. He said that a woman got shellacked, and it was like, oh my God, that's like sexual violence or something. And I think Patrick had like a huge hissy fit over it, so that word choice is deliberate to piss him off. Um, might make Patrick a humble person, or at the very least, might make one more a bit more gun shy about throwing around accusations on social media. Some random person or another being a fascist stalker cultist. But this is Patrick Thompson we're talking about here. So I will not read all of this because it is quite long. This is definitely like SEO poison for. I didn't even realize. I thought I, I honestly I thought this guy was like somebody that he really knew, but maybe he does. But he's obviously like super informed on um on Tomlinson and the trolling stuff. So if you would like to read that, this is, I will repeat the title. Pat Tomlinson launches plagiarism accusation over Phoenix novel by Michael Gallagher. Um, and this is a brief update that he's started immediately. He's launched some kind of new feud with, uh, a, a book publisher. Um, I don't even remember why, what is the actual accusation here? I'm curious. Uh Oh, this? He's saying that he's saying that the Phoenix and Red Rising have similar covers cuz it's a bird with spread with spread wings. Um, actually, I'll have you know, Patrick S. Tomlinson, that they did not steal the cover of Red Rising. They have, in fact, both of them have plagiarized the flag of Albania. You may be thinking, but that, what does that have to do with sci-fi? Nothing. 
but it does look very similar, so therefore it's plagiarism, according to me. It's not even close. He took out like a small portion. <laughs> he took out like a small portion of the cover and said it's the exact same thing. As if a fucking wing, a bird wing, is like identical. Or it's like a novel thing that someone can trademark. Oh my god, a bird wing on a cover. How, how fucking thought-provoking and original. Surely this must be the uh, plagiarism. Fascinating chat. What a fat idiot that Patrick S. Tomlinson is. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.